Hey guys, thanks for coming back to part two. And I'm sort of in my kitchen, dining room, in between these two rooms. But what I'm gonna share with you is some of the diet things that we have repurchased and repurchased, or at least I have, and that we use all the time. And when I say we, Jay, while he does not exactly follow a keto plan, although don't tell him I said this, he should, um, he does have and consume a lot of the same type of products that I consume. So one of the first things that I need to tell you about is that we have been using a collagen supplement and this is the one from Great Lakes Gelatin Collagen Hydroslate. It's collagen joint care. It is a dietary supplement. This, supplement. this is kosher beef. We buy this directly from the factory in a huge eight pound bag. We've kept the container to pour the refill in. But this we started using in January of 2016. And since I started using it, I have not had any dry elbows at all. It, it's like amazing. That was the first thing I noticed because my elbows, especially in the winter, would be caking and flaking and almost cracking and bleeding at times. But since I was on this that first winter, I said, wow, my elbows are awesome and they're still awesome. So it hasn't changed at all. Jay started taking it about maybe a month and a half later. And for him, it really has helped his joints, his movement, his uh, mobility as far as, you know, golfing and all that stuff. It's made a big difference for him. He will not be without it. We both take this two tablespoons in the morning. And then later in the day, either in the evening or afternoon, depending on our schedule, we take an additional two tablespoons. So we do go through a lot of it, but it has been something we have bought over and over and over again. We're not selling it. We don't make any money. This is not sponsored. Great Lakes has no clue who we are. It's just a product that we use, love, and continue to repurchase. It's awesome. The other thing that we have bought over and over and over again is a MCT oil. This one that I have is from Now Sports. And I, you know, I think I got this off of Amazon. You can probably get a good quality MCT oil in any kind of a health food store, but we bought this. MCT is medium chain triglycerides. I know I'm saying that wrong. It is just an awesome dietary supplement. I use this in the morning when I'm making my Bulletproof coffee. I will use that in that. Jay puts it in his smoothie. If I'm making a smoothie, a protein shake, I put it in mine. This is an awesome healthy fat for you, especially if you want to feel full, you're trying to watch your weight, and you, you know, you're just trying to be cautious, I guess. So that's like a real staple. The other thing for us that we've bought over and over and over again is, and this is called the Easy Sweets. I don't know where I first heard about this. I think it was on a keto diet program about, you know, a, a supplement or a substitute, a sugar substitute type of thing that you could use if you still need to have a little bit of a sweet flavor. Not everyone needs it, obviously. There are pure ketos, there's pure people that go low carb that ditch all this stuff. I like it, especially in my coffee. And especially when I make my fat bombs. So when I make a coconut dark chocolate, you know how bitter that dark chocolate is, the, the natural dark chocolate without any sugar? Um, and I use the sugar-free or the whatever coconut, not the sweetened ones. And I make my fat bombs. I do put some of this in there because it just makes it more enjoyable for me to, to eat. So the other thing, other than supplements, and you know, you need to have your supplements. I do have my, my full range of vitamins, especially my vitamins that I use for my hair. So it's very, very important, especially if you are in, in any kind of a diet program. So I showed you the MCT oil. I didn't show you the MCT powder. This was reviewed, you know, I'm not too sure who reviewed it. Um, my guess would be that it might have been Marta, but I'm not sure. So this was re reviewed as an MCT powder. And you know what? I like it. It's okay in my coffee. It makes my coffee have a lot more cream feeling or taste to it because I'm drinking my black coffee or I'm doing or I'm drinking a you know a um, bulletproof coffee in the morning it's really great for that but it has a few things added on to it that might be a little different than the regular MCT oil and I am not a chemist I have no idea so I buy I like it 
I bought it, I paid for it, I won't buy it again. How's that? Another thing I won't buy again is uh, Perfect Keto. Waste of money. I still use it, but I don't think, I don't think the claims of this helping you go into ketosis faster is, at least for me, has proven to be effective. For me, it hasn't. For me, it is going to be strict keto, meaning strict low carb, and quite truthfully, I've been cheating like there is no tomorrow. We went to Chinese food. I had a scorpion bowl for two. I drank it almost all by myself. Yeah, I'm really bad, you know. And then we had, you know, all the other things that go along with it. And I just, ha since summertime, I've been cheating more than I have been good. And I don't know whether it's the intermittent fasting that kind of gives me that little safety net or I feel like I have a safety net because I typically go 16-8 or 18-6 when I intermittent fast. So, you know, I go a long stretch between meals, so then when I eat in that, that feeding window, I'm thinking, sure, sure, I can have a scorpion bowl tonight, yeah. I can I can go to Chinese, I can, I can have onion rings, you know, or whatever. And um, no matter what, you know what, I really can't. So I'm getting back on my keto, strict keto. But this, I'm not buying it again, no. These, these are my major, major cheat. These are my Parmesan crisps. Now you can make these yourself. I've made them myself. They don't come out as pretty looking as these, but you can make them yourself. And they're just little tiny. You know, you just glob some Parmesan on a pan and bake it. My problem is half the time I don't have time where these are just really, I mean, these are zero, zero carbs, zero everything. Yeah, it's got 130 calories per 25 crisps, but it's an awesome, awesome snack. So what I do is I'll add it to my salad, you know, instead of um, bread. Um, what do you call those bread things, Jay? I don't know. Croutons. You know how people have little bread crouton -y things in their salad? I'll put these in there. I'll add it to other things as well to give me the crunch factor. And, and to me that's, so these, I buy them at Sam's Club. I don't know, I hear Sam's Club is closing. I don't know where I'm gonna get them, but I'll find a place or I'll make them myself. But these have been a staple for me. I've been, I've used these and, and had them for a long, long time. Now I use a different protein powder. I don't always have a, a shake, but when I do, when I do and I need to add some protein into my shake, I use this. I find this to be the cheapest online. Although if you get a coupon and you belong to the vitamin shop or the vitamin stores or whatever, you can sometimes get buy one and get the other half off or whatever and then it becomes a really good deal. I think I had I bought this on Amazon and this is Nature's Best Isopure Protein Powder Zero Carb. See, zero carb. There's low carb and there's zero carb. And then there's full boat of carbs. <laughs> Obviously, I want the zero carb. I've had the low carb, but there's still carbs in there that adds up. And my carbohydrates, quite frankly, even when I'm really good with my carbs, my carbs coming from my vitamins. I'm one of those people that, for whatever reason, cannot swallow pills easy. I struggle, struggle with pills. But if I can have a chewy, I can have a chewy, I'll chew my vitamins. And, you know, so the pills are really hard for me. So to get my vitamins, especially following a keto program, my calcium is a chewy. My vitamin C is a chewy. My, you know, my, my hair stuff is a chewy. So, um, yeah, so it's hard when I have a pill form. So if I were to get the low carb version of this, the amount of carbs in there, plus my chewies would just throw me way out every single day. So. I buy it online, I buy it on Amazon, works well for me. I think it was, I'm not too sure if it was Tammy or if it was Elle, but somebody had raved about turmeric. And I bought some. I wanna get very consistent with this. My problem is it's a pill. <laughs> it's a pill and I just, you know what? I think I just like kind of put it on the back burner and I forget about it and I go, oh yeah, I'm gonna take it today. But I am going to, I figure I'm gonna swallow this twice a day, I'm just gonna get good and I'm going to do it. So 
you know, I hate to say keto diet because to me it's keto lifestyle. It's a ketogenic lifestyle. I lost over the course of time and I've been up and down. I lost 60 pounds. If you look at some of my early, early, early videos, I was like really, really big. <laughs> and then I lost some weight and then I stabilized my weight and then I got sick. So I had a, a year of sickness um, where I almost couldn't eat at all without extreme pain. I didn't realize it was my gallbladder. I also had um, a lumpectomy. I had some other you know, issues that went along with that. So I had a year of not being in good health. And when I look at those videos, yeah, I was thin, but I didn't look good. I looked tired. I looked old. I looked drawn. Um, I, did, I looked sick when I look back at them. So thankfully, thankfully that's knock on wood. I'll do my head. I know my husband would if he were next to me. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, I'm hoping that that's all behind me. And 2018 will continue on with good health and good activities like 2017 and, you know, 2016 were for me, um, you know, at least the later part of 2016 because 2015 and early 2016, I think I, I don't remember when I had my surgeries, but um, it might have been 2015. But anyways, I digress. So... Keto is a way of life, and it's a way of life that I've been able to adapt to and almost eat anywhere, just ditching the carbs and whatever I'm going to have. Yeah, I have my weakness, and I started this summer camping. Weaknesses by the campfire. I had too much to drink. I had too many ice creams. Jay loves his ice cream. He would twist my arm and force me to go to the beach and have ice cream. He would force me to go down to his favorite ice cream shop. I reluctantly would go with him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very reluctantly. He, uh, he was just such a brutal man. He just forced me to do that. And then I would have my very, very favorite, because he made me have it, coffee ice cream. I just had too many of those. And a couple of cocktails too many, and some fried foods too many. But hey, yeah, new beginnings, new start, 2018. Going to be an awesome year. It's going to be a healthy year for us all. I know a lot of us are going through some difficult times right now, but I think it's going to be, it's going to shake out to be good for every single one of us, and especially all of our loved friends in the mature community. So, thanks so much for watching. This is part two of my ultimate, like, I gotta get this stuff, and my repeat, repeat purchases. See you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.